it would be touching to me to hear that a lot of people came out to help rebuild. Um, in a way, it shows that people remember Benji. You don't ever want to think your child is forgotten. That's Tabitha Easler. Her six-year-old son, Benji, died nearly four and a half years ago when a children's train crashed at Cleveland Park in Spartanburg. 28 other people were injured. Today, the Spartanburg County Parks Department opened a bidding process for work to renovate this park off of Asheville Highway. The new playground will include a reflection garden in memory of what happened. Developers will lay the groundwork. But it will be you, the volunteers, who will play the biggest part in helping to build. Diane Lee talked with the Easler family about that community effort and remembering their son. Tuchel's got a hurt spot. For the past four and a half years, the Easlers in Gaffney have been trying to live the way Benji would have wanted. My middle son, Matthew, told us, um, I think at the funeral home, he said, Benji would want us to have a normal life. And, of course, life is not normal <laughs> now, but I think Benji, he's celebrating in heaven. He would want us to um, be happy. Tabitha Easler says the family is happy to hear that construction on the Cleveland Park playground will begin this fall. Most of it was torn down in 2011 after the children's train there toppled down a rocky embankment, killing six-year-old Benji and injuring 28 others. I was almost eight months pregnant with Hannah when our whole family was thrown from the train, and miraculously, she was okay, thankfully, by God's grace, and she's brought us so much joy and hope and um, just a lot of happiness. Easler regrets her family photos will never be complete, but she finds ways. She and her husband Dwight, a pastor at the church across the street, were pleased to be consulted on the park design. It includes a reflection garden and fountain, a place for Easler or anyone to remember. I think it's great for people to rebuild. I think it will be great for people to have a place where kids can come and remember Benji, but also have a good time. Benji was such a wonderful, playful, loving um, young man, and I'd love for him to be remembered that way. Soon, the weeds that have replaced the train tracks will be covered to make way for a walking path. The developer is putting out a call for 700 volunteers to help rebuild. What's this park been like in the last four years? Very quiet. I don't know how else to describe it other than it almost seems solemn, and we, we, need, to, we need to breathe new life into it. The new playground is set to be complete by mid-November, just in time for what would have been Benji's 11th birthday. When something so tragic happens, you think, how am I ever going to go through Christmas? How am I going to go on vacation? And you just kind of dread those things, but the Lord taught me not to get out into the future so much, and He has helped me. Um, get through those things just one day at a time, one event at a time. Eastler doesn't know yet if the volunteer event will be one she can bring herself to attend, but just like the new playground dedicated to Benji at the church, she's grateful to anyone who plays a part in keeping his memory alive. In Gaffney, Diane Lee, 7 on your side. The community volunteer event at Cleveland Park will be Tuesday, October 20th through the following Saturday. We have information on how to sign up at WSBA.com.